Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Arpita Karva and in this video, I'm going to give you a crash course on unit communication from UGC NET paper one. This is a very important part of paper one and a lot of students get confused as to what to study and what to skip in this unit. Today, I will quickly take you through all the important topics that you must cover in the unit communication. This video will act as a power packed blueprint and lay a strong solid foundation which will in turn help you cover this unit very very quickly. So let's start. Hey, if you're new to this channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that every Sunday, as soon as I upload a new video, you're the first one to know about it. We're proud to share that we are India's largest YouTube channel in the field of UGC net exam preparation right now. The first important topic that you must study for the unit communication in UGC net paper one is the characteristics of communication. See, communication is a very important process of our day-to-day -day life. We communicate with each other all day. The name communication comes from a Latin word that means to make information common. Thus, the process of making the information common is called communication and it has several characteristics. Number one is it is omnipresent. Har jagah hai communication. That means communication is present everywhere. There is no place where you cannot communicate. Then communication is a universal process. This means everybody including humans, animals, birds and every creature on this earth communicates. Have you ever seen how ants move in a straight line or how elephants roam in a herd? That's because of communication. Without communication we cannot sustain. There is a universality in the process of communication. Communication is also a continuous process. Communication is continuous in a way where one person communicates and the other person gives it feedback and this keeps on going. Human beings are social animals. Without communication, we cannot become social animal. We live in a society and the only way to be a part of the society is to communicate. So the first thing that you need to study when you are looking at the topic of communication is the characteristics of it. Before we move on to point number two, if you have any other questions or doubts related to UGC net paper one or paper two, then feel free to reach out to us on WhatsApp. The WhatsApp number is flashed right on the screen. You can shoot a WhatsApp message on the same number to regularly get important exam updates, latest uh, information related to syllabus change and much more. And if you are searching for free study material on various topics related to UGC net paper one and paper two, English literature, commerce or management, then feel Feel free to ping us on WhatsApp and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you. The second important thing that we are going to study for UGC NET paper one is the process of communication. There is process behind everything from making cakes to making sketches. Everything has a process. We are communicating so frequently that we have never even thought that we are following a process too. First important thing in this process of communication is the sender. Just like in this video, I am the sender. I am sending the message. The second important component is message. We have a sender who sends the message and the sender sends the message by encoding it. I have some ideas in my mind and I have shared them with you graphically and verbally. The process of transferring idea into words is called encoding. Thus, I am the sender sending a message by encoding it and I am sending it through a channel. Here is the third component of the process of communication that is channel. Now on the other side of the sender is the receiver or the one who receives the message and decodes the message. If you are watching this video with your friends, you may notice that everybody interprets my message differently. It is because every person decodes the message differently. That is because decoding is a process which is affected by your prior knowledge and your prior experience. We interpret messages based on our experience and knowledge. Just like after I communicate with you through this video, you will give me feedback in the comment section. After which the communication will come to an end. So this one process of communication starts with the sender sending the information and a feedback coming from the receiver's end. Because of your feedback, I will get to know what type of videos my viewers want me to make. So in the process of communication, we have a sender, 
मैसेज सेंड आई इनकोड द मैसेज सेंड द मैसेज थ्रू अ चैनल देन वी हैव अ रिसीवर हु डी कोड्स द मैसेज बेस्ड ऑन हिज और हर प्रायर एक्सपीरियंस एंड नॉलेज एंड फाइनली गिव्स द फीडबैक टू द सेंडर एंड दिस इज हाउ द एंटायर प्रोसेस गेट्स कंप्लीटेड इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यू जी सी नेट पेपर वन पेपर टू देन आई हैव अ वेरी गुड न्यूज फॉर यू आई वुड जस्ट वॉन्ट यू टू लुक एट दिस वीडियो फॉर नेक्स्ट थर्टी सेकेंड्स विथ फुल कॉन्सेंट्रेशन वी आर ऑफरिंग फोर सेपरेट वीडियो कोर्सेज फॉर यू जी सी नेट पेपर वन पेपर टू इंग्लिश कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट इन ऑल आर वीडियो कोर्सेज वी प्रोवाइड यू विद टॉपिक वाइज वीडियो लेसन विथ रिच एनिमेशन कवरिंग ऑल टॉपिक्स इन स्टेप बाई स्टेप मैनर विच वर्कस even when you've not done any previous preparation we also provide you with high quality pdfs and revision notes that cover syllabus wise topics comprehensively and ensure you qualify your dream exam in just one attempt along with video lectures and pdf we also offer test series that consist of more than 3000 unit wise questions that come with detailed explanation plus after every test you get a detailed performance report and your ranking in the all india leaderboard which will help you to spot your weak and strong areas we cover all these topics in our online course and the detailed list of all these topics that are covered in our online course is available totally free of cost on our website arpitakarwa.com even if you're preparing for these exams on your own we would highly recommend you to visit our website and download this detailed list of writers and check out the solved past year papers for all these competitive exams the link of our website and all the courses are given in the description box below you can check out the course details from the website and even watch free demo lectures and attempt free demo mock tests before you decide to enroll in the course for more information related to the courses we offer feel free to shoot your queries on whatsapp number displayed on your screen right now and me and my team will be more than happy to assist you so ab hum chalte hain next topic pe that is the kinds of communication to clear ugc net paper 1 we are going to look at different types of communication which is one of the most important topics of this unit there are several classifications of communication the first category is communication based on direction now directions can be different and on the basis of these different directions communication is classified for example in a college there's a dean who communicates to an assistant professor this is an example of downward communication as the dean is communicating to assistant professor it is because of the rank difference if a superior person communicates to an inferior person that is downward communication on the other hand if the assistant professor communicates to the dean it becomes upward communication now you might think what shall we call if several assistant professors communicate with each other we call it horizontal communication because it is happening on the same level now we also have a diagonal communication it is a sort of hybrid between vertical and horizontal communication it is a dialogue between employees of different ranks who are not in the same chain of command for example an assistant professor of economics department communicating with the head of mathematics department for an upcoming college event is diagonal communication there are different types of communication based on direction also the next kind of communication is based on organizational structure uh if you remember we used to write those formal informal letters in our english exam right those were two major types of communication based on the organizational structure formal communication is when it is a official communication when you are in an office meeting in a discussion or something that you may call an official discussion meeting informal communication is when you sit with your friends and you chit chat there is another type of communication that is called grape wine communication grape wine dekha hai that is how the communication happens so now what happens in grape wine communication is basically when in an organizational setup colleagues gossip about a formal news formal communication is somehow molded into a type of informal meeting that is grape wine communication By the way, अभी तक का वीडियो कैसा लगा आई एम गोइट ईगर टू नो हाउ यू फेल्ट अबाउट इट समझ आया कि नहीं आया प्लीज शेयर योर व्यूज इन द कॉमेंट्स बिलो ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन एनी डाउट और इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू मेक अ वीडियो ऑन एनी अदर टॉपिक देन हर बार की तरह आई अगेन इंसिस्ट यू टू फील फ्री टू पुट दैट इन द कॉमेंट सेक्शन एज वेल द नेक्स्ट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन इज ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एजेंट्स now it's very important if you want to ace ugc net paper 1 you know these kinds of communication 
we have four major types of communication on the basis of agents we have intrapersonal communication which is communication in which i talk to myself uh, you've seen that movie khubsurat which has fawad khan and sonam kapoor there's this episode in that movie they keep talking with themselves in their head throughout the movie that is intrapersonal communication another category is interpersonal communication that is when i am talking to another person two people communicating with each other is interpersonal communication you talk with your friends through interpersonal communication third type of communication is group communication in group communication i address two or more than two people this is similar to group discussions wherein i'm talking to an entire group jaise group discussions hote hain na news channels pe panch chhe log baithe hain us type ka and finally the fourth kind of communication is mass communication mass communication is when you communicate using mass media television newspaper youtube radio all these are channels through which you can communicate to masses um hum tv pe ads dekhte hain pepsi titanic harpic ke all these are a part of mass communication even this video that i'm making is a part of mass communication next is verbal non verbal communication the most common type of communication is verbal communication verbal communication includes oral or written language so if i'm talking to you this is verbal communication if i send a letter to you then that is also verbal communication verbal means using words so whenever i'm communicating using words that will come under verbal communication now on the other hand we have non verbal communication which is more interesting than verbal communication so we have a very common example of non verbal communication uh damshras khelte hain that is non verbal communication so that is a game in which we communicate using sign language so that is what non verbal communication is all about but it's not just that damshras ka game even body language se jo hum communicate kar rahe hain that is also non verbal communication suppose i stand like this now this is a different kind of body language now suppose i stand like this or i sit like this now this is like i'm lethargic i'm tired so here i'm not saying anything but not just saying anything i'm communicating a lot of things through my body language if i'm interactive if i'm just sitting lousily so this is all part of non verbal communication and that is how you communicate through eye contact through gestures postures jaise theater mein actors jab act karte hain to unke expressions body language haathon ke movement sab hame samjhate hain ki scene kaisa hai emotional scene hai to bahut intense emotions aapko feel karke aapki body language waisi honi chahiye और जब वो नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन के एलिमेंट्स यूज करते हैं ना तब हम कहते हैं कि एक्टिंग अच्छी करी क्योंकि डायलॉग्स तो कोई भी बोल सकता बट अगर आपने नॉन वर्बली ये बता दिया कि आप कहना क्या चाहते हैं दैट इज व्हाट मेक्स यू अ गुड एक्टर एंड वी हैव अनदर वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नॉन वर्बल कम्युनिकेशन विच इज स्पेस लैंग्वेज सो बेसिकली इफ यू हैव एवर गॉन टू मुंबई यू मस्ट हैव सीन दोज लवर्स सिटिंग नियर मरीन ड्राइव when you see those love birds they have very limited space between them they are sitting very close to each other whereas if you are talking to your boss you will maintain a distance so distance may communicate a lot about the relationship between two individuals so space language or what we call proximity is another form of non verbal communication so these are a few important kinds of communication which you must keep in your mind and if you look at the classification that i've told you i'm pretty sure you must have thought that this is easy because this is what we experience in our day to day life you don't need to mug up anything you don't need to learn anything just understand it so that it becomes a part of your experience and you can automatically answer questions related to that this is the right way to learn mug up mat karo samjho aakhir hota kya hai the next topic that you must study for ugc net paper 1 communication unit is barriers in communication i recently watched a very interesting play and the title of that play was mera wo matlab nahi tha so it had anupam kher in it uh, so they basically like anupam kher and neena gupta they were basically talking about the idea um, that agar unhone kuch galtiyan pehle nahi kari hoti to aaj aisi cheeze nahi hoti so basically uh, this play centered around the idea of two lovers meeting each other after 50 years so they sit in a park and then they discuss the miscommunication that led to their separation 50 years back and that is where they keep on saying ki are wo jo maine bola tha usme mera wo matlab nahi tha and that is where i got the idea that this is a perfect example of barriers in communication now let's talk about different barriers 
one by one. The first barrier is distance. Because of distance, we might not be able to communicate properly. We might not be able to hear if someone is shouting from a distance. Samajhi nahi aega na bol kya raha hai. Another important barrier is psychological barrier. If I had a fight with my friend in the morning, and if you communicate something to me during the day, I might not pay attention to what you're saying because I'm still thinking about that fight. In that way, I might not be able to interpret the message properly. Then there are other barriers like language barrier. If you are speaking to me in Tamil and I don't know Tamil or I have limited understanding of Tamil, I won't be able to understand what you're trying to say. If you're using some technical jargon, it is also a language barrier. For example, if you're a PhD scholar in economics and if you're talking to me in technical terms of economics, I might not be able to understand anything or I might interpret your words as per my knowledge of English literature. So technical jargon may be a communication barrier as well. All these are important areas which you must take care when you are communicating to any person. The next topic that we are going to discuss is classroom communication. It's very important from UGC NET perspective. Anybody who is taking the UGC NET exam will become a professor someday or the other in some university. And it is very important for a professor to know how to manage or how to communicate in a classroom environment. And that is why classroom communication holds importance when it comes to UGC NET paper one as well. If you look at classroom communication, you'll see that there are many things involved in it. You need to take care of several things like professor should have uh, skill to discipline people. He should be aware that classroom uh, communication is cognitive in nature. There should be the involvement of psychomotor activities by the professor in the classroom. Psychomotor activities, I'll tell you, basically mean coordination for example, hand-eye movement. Ki main jaisa bol rahi hon, or just तरह के से मेरे मूवमेंट हो रहे हैं उनमें कोऑर्डिनेशन हो इमेजिन मैं अगर एक ही टोन में आपसे बात करती रहूँ थोड़ी देर में आप सब सो जाएंगे इफ आई डोंट मॉड्यूलेट माय वॉइस यू वॉन्ट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड किस चीज़ पे मैं एम्फेसिस दे रही हूँ और किस पे नहीं सो so, इंटरेस्टिंग तरीकों से अगर मुझे आपको बताना है तभी मैं आपको इंगेज रख पाऊँगी नाउ अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्टर इन क्लास कम्युनिकेशन इज दैट इट इज़ बेस्ड ऑन द थ्योरी ऑफ एड्यूटेनमेंट वी नो एंटरटेनमेंट But I wonder if you have ever heard of the term edutainment. Edutainment comes from two words, education and entertainment. And at the same time, when a professor is communicating, he should take care that his lecture doesn't get boring. He should be entertaining so that the students doesn't get bored. That is providing education and trying to make it entertaining as well. So these are few important things that must be taken care by you when you are reading classroom communication. Finally, we land on to the last topic that you must study if you're preparing for the communication unit for UGC NET paper one and that is mass communication. Now, mass communication nowadays has become much easier because so many social media platforms are there using which you can communicate to masses easily. Unlike the earlier times when you were dependent that I will put an advertisement in newspaper or I will broadcast it on local radio, then I will mass communicate. Things have changed now. And that is why it is important to know the role of mass communication, especially in the modern time. There are several important things that you must remember when it comes to mass communication. Like the first newspaper of India. Who called media the fourth estate? Do you know? Do you know? Comment it. It is Edmund Burke, who is a very, very important and influential thinker. He termed media as the fourth estate or the fourth power. Such small things you should keep in mind when you are studying mass communication. These facts are frequently asked in the paper and if you know these facts, then the paper becomes extremely simple for you. So these were the important topics that you must cover if you are preparing for UGC NET paper one. If you found this video helpful, then please Please give it a big fan thumbs up and also share it with other fellow aspirants who are struggling with similar kind of questions. So with that note, I end the discussion on communication. I've tried to give you a blueprint which you can use if you are preparing your own notes for communication. You can refer to all these points I've mentioned in the video and I'm pretty sure that your knowledge would increase as you read more about it. That's it from my side for this video lecture. I'll meet you very soon in the next video lecture. Till the time we meet next, happy learning, keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com.